hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing our budget with me and we're going to be budgeting for august the 18th so um my available cash is everything i have available after all my fixed expenses are paid for the week so you're going to see a little bit of change in my budget this time around because i did have some emergencies uh with my oldest son and right now i'm kind of helping helping him out with whatever he's going through so you're gonna see me cash um cash stuff only my essentials or what i think are essentials for me i'm not in a bare bones budget but you're gonna see that i did modify a lot of my expenses and um my variable expenses or at least my cash envelopes and also you're, not, you're gonna see something that i'm gonna slow down in debt um, because I'm not going to be able to do that for a little bit. Um, and I did use some of my emergency fund to help my son. So I'm going to have to build that up uh, again. So I'm doing some modifications. So you're going to see that in my budget. Okay. So I, some of it I don't disclose here because I took it out of my already my checking account. Um, so, my, but my available cash is going to be a little bit less. And I don't know if it's going to change drastically going forward or not so um but you'll see that going forward if i have to do like a bare bones budget until my son's situation gets improved hopefully it does um but if not i have to help him out for the time being okay so for my, my available cash this time around it's going to be 469 dollars uh for the week and then we're going to go into my variable expenses i am not like i said i'm not into a bare board bare bones budget yet so i'm still keeping my same variable expenses so that's a hundred dollars for lunch a hundred dollars for dining out 110 for groceries 30 for household 40 for gas 30 for spending and 10 for miscellaneous so it's going to be 340 that i have available for variable expenses however i'm trying not to spend as much in spending my spending money or my miscellaneous so i could roll it over just in case anything might happen then my cash envelopes, like I mentioned, I'm only focusing in a couple of them. I do want to put at least a little bit to my debt. So I'm going to put $5 this week. And then my son's allowance is also going to get his $5. And the membership for work is also going to get $5. So it's only my cash envelopes. It's only a total of $15 that I'm going to be using this week. Like I said, I minimize a lot of these just because I am in a situation that I need to adjust my budget, you know. Um, so... I take whatever is more priority to me. Other people might think differently and they're entitled to whatever works for everybody. Uh, however, for me, these, I mean, of course, I could always remove my son's allowance and stuff like that and remove my spending, my eating out. But like I mentioned, I'm not at a bare bones budget at this point. I'm only trying to prepare, right? I'm trying to prepare for uh, if I do need to go into a bare bones budget um, in the next couple of weeks or um, the next couple of um months okay depending on the situation uh for christmas i am going to change it to only ten dollars this week emergency like i mentioned i am i did have to use around six hundred dollars of my emergency fund so i dropped out so i want to pick it up so whatever i'm going to do here in emergency is going to be twenty dollars my pest control is like a bill so i keep that one that's fifteen dollars my property taxes is also a bill so i'll keep that one that's sixteen dollars my son's birthday that one's coming up in october so i want to continue to save for that one it's going to be five dollars and for my savings challenges this week i'm going to put 48 dollars this week and of course some of my rollover so the 48 dollars that i have most of it um it's going to go into emergency fund it's just um the way i'm going to be saving the money so in total of a total of $114 for my sinking funds and savings challenges. So that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.